Hey, hi all. Uh, welcome back to BLR Knowledge Center. And in this today session, we'll see like how we are going to explore our hide endpoints in Swagger UI. So Swagger UI is an open source you know, uh, framework which we can use it for uh, unit testing of your APIs. And at the same time, developers also can use this to document uh, endpoints from the different controllers in the web API. But the, certainly, sometimes so a user or you no know, developer wants to hide their endpoints as part of Swagger UI. How they will do that, and also sometimes they wanted to hide entire controller uh, so that it will hide all the endpoint in the controller. And how we are going to do that uh, in the .NET? So let's get into this and. So this is what my uh, application I have uh, controllers here, clinician, location, other staff, and patient. And it, it has been already in the swagger here. And if I run this application and if I spin this web API, then it is going to display all the controllers by default in swagger UI. If you look at here, I can see clinician and where it has one endpoint, clinician, get clinician, and this is what locations. It has uh, several endpoints at the locations. And this is other staff uh, controller where I have other staff endpoint. This is a patient and a controller where I have a, a patient, a get patients endpoint here. And also you have a schemas as a, which relates to um, no location and the patient here. Uh, now, how uh, how we can hide a particular endpoint uh, so that uh, end user or my uh, client doesn't or uh, will not you know uh, have an access to access my endpoint? Let's look at this. How to configure that? I'm just uh, getting into this location stuff where I wanted to remove this uh, delete and you know the post approach, or you just remove this delete, um, which I don't want to give an access to client. To consume this endpoint, so we are going to uh, hide this endpoint as part of this Swagger UI, so that we'll see like next how we are going to completely hide the controller so that all endpoints are going to be uh, hidden for the uh, client. So just open the uh, uh, application here and go to your location uh, location controller which you have all endpoints here and look at the endpoint of uh, delete which you would like to uh, hide this and try to add an, an decorator attribute here api explorer uh, settings of uh, i think ignore api equal to true so if you can decorate this attribute uh, on top of any endpoint here uh, right now i'm going to you know add that decorator here uh, to hide my uh, endpoint to hide uh, endpoint in Swagger UI. So after adding this decorator setting here, IP Explorer setting ignore IP equal to true. And if you build this and run and see like how Swagger UI is showing, and uh, and in the next I think we are going to hide and complete and um, controller. Okay. And yep, I'm able to see the here. Look at here, I have a get and patch and get and patch and get. I, I didn't see that delete, uh, you know, uh, endpoint here. So, so as I uh, decorated that API Explorer settings ignore equal to ignore API equal to true, then what it is doing is Swagger by default reads that endpoint. And if an endpoint is decorated with that ignore API equal to true attribute, then it will not include in this particular UI. That's why I think we can uh, restrict the end user or the client to uh, does not look at the endpoint or even uh, you never see that. And by that, uh, in a similar way, I think you can stop that. Uh, if the decorator being added to your endpoint, then you will stop it uh, as part of token authentication or other you no know, uh, filter actions uh, execution process. Now, <clears throat> going back to our code, and see that how I'm going to completely hide this completed stuff here. <clears throat> Why? Because the Swagger is running in the root level, but not at the individual model level. Once you create a Swagger for any API, and you, once you deploy it in your production server, 
and what are other apis are already existing that uh, production server all the endpoints are coming and showing on this ui by default that's what the behavior of swagger once swagger is integrated to any api that a swagger is going to come from the root path of your base address then you look at uh, if any other api is having a swagger and having any controller and then all the controls will get and fetch and show here and list out here but if in that case, uh, I don't want to expose my, you know, one of the uh, endpoint or one of the controller to the end user, then you better uh, choose this setting and uh, keep it mark uh, on top of your endpoint. Now, I wanted to hide a complete location uh, controller here, how we are going to achieve this. So for that, what you need to do, what you need to do is you go to top here and on top of class, you add the attribute. API explore settings of you know ignore uh, API equal to true so that it will apply to all endpoints of this location controller and you just run this and see like how it is affecting the Swagger UI and then you will get an easy uh, coding point here to hide any endpoint or complete controller look at here I only have a three now and I uh didn't see that location controller here so i have only like clinician i have other stuff and i have patient but i uh, i, I didn't have uh, no the location control stuff here so what i did was uh even if you look at here schema also showing weather forecast but not the location because the controller uh marked as you know ignore api equal to true then what it will do is it will completely hide the um, location controller endpoint and also the uh, schema definition for the location so if i remove this again going back and i'll just hide the uh, clinician i'll add the same uh, setting here ip ap explorer of ignore uh, api equal to true now see let's see like how it is appearing in the swagger ui so if you go and see uh, on that uh, Swagger UI here, so by default it shows locations instead of a patient, right? I mean, uh, combination, and then other stuff, and then patient. Now here see uh, schema also added back. So earlier I think uh, uh, when we mark this location controllers uh, to be not shown on the Swagger, then complete Swagger uh, location controller and this schema location uh has been hide here but again i removed that and i uh, mark it to the patient clinician controller here and so only clinician stuff is uh you know hidden in the swagger and other controls are still showing in the swagger ui so that's how it is working and uh, if you wanted to hide any controller or any endpoint in the any specific controller you still can uh, hide that using that particular attribute so I hope you understand the concept of hiding any endpoint or any uh, controller so that it will hide all endpoints and all the relevant schemas and uh, showing in the UI of Swagger with a simple setting called API uh, Explorer uh, settings of so ignore API equal to true should be marked on top of a class if you want to hide any controller or if you wanted to hide a specific endpoint on that specific endpoint top you need to mark this particular setting so thanks for watching this video and i hope you understand the concept of you know excluding or hiding of endpoint in swagger ui thanks for listening this video and please subscribe this channel for more videos thank you